crawling around on the floor again because we're going to talk about another foot exercise. Um, this is an exercise that I give to more runners and cyclists, but cyclists need this from time to time. A, because sometimes they do cyclocross and they have to run, but B, um, when we're dealing with patellar tendonitis, we are always looking at making sure the forces acting through the patella are nice and straight. So we often talk about the popliteus contraction and bringing the, the shin bone around and the insertion point of the tendon underneath the kneecap. But for people with really high arched supinated feet, quite often if they do engage the, the rotation the right way, their big toe is coming up in the air. Now sometimes that's a, a foot abnormality and an orthotic fixes that, but more often than not what that is is an inability to pronate the foot. Now pronation is a bit of a dirty word in the running world, but um, it's actually a very, very important task that we have to be able to do. The problem is, is we don't tend to have a lot of coordination with our feet and we tend to use a lot of pattern movements and then when we start trying to change the way that we're moving through our feet especially we're really prone to getting repetitive strain injuries, tendonitis and uh, even shin splints because we're not efficient at moving in nice discrete voluntary ways. So this is a very finicky and fussy exercise and if I've asked, to do, if I've asked you to do it um, that's a shame because it usually takes a long time to figure it out but you can do it with practice. So here's the exercise. What we do, now I'm going to just show you sitting in this chair. Step one is you have to be able to dorsiflex the foot. Now that sounds easier um, than it actually is because you are not allowed to lift your big toe or your little toes. Okay, You have to just lift the foot. Now most of you, if you are picky enough, you will notice that right away as you come up you start to do that. You also have to be very mindful of the little harp strings. Sometimes that's the easiest way to tell if you're doing it but your foot should stay soft. Now you're not clinching and coming up, that's cheating. The toes just have to stay loose. And you have to use this big fat tendon here, the tibialis anterior one, in isolation first. Okay, and then once you get to there, you have to learn how to pronate it. And that's really where some of you are gonna have a hard time. You're gonna really wanna do that, okay? But with practice, this is the motion you need to be able to do. And what that, what that accomplishes is it allows us to keep our big toe engaged into the ground or into the shoe as we bring our knee under, or the insertion of our kneecap, underneath the patellar tendon with popliteus. Um, it's a bit nitpicky, but trust me, if I've asked you to do this, this is important.